Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, let's just get this straight. They are lying to us. They've always been lying to us. And when I say they, the unfortunate part of this is it's the media. Because you don't really see government officials get on the news and tell us anything. Truth be told, it's the media that reports these things. So I wanted to do some research and I was looking through my Facebook posts and this goes back to 2020, 2019, early 2021. But before I say this, <laughs> let me just say there's a meme that says I identify as a conspiracy theorist and my pronouns are I told you so. And that hits it right on the head of what I'm about to say. I'm gonna pin these Facebook comments right here next to me so you can see what I'm talking about. So in 2021, I think it was in November. Yeah, it's November. I posted a Facebook post that says, here is how the media is running the coverage of the world's inflation crisis. In June, they were saying it's temporary. In September, it was a good sign. And in November, inflation is good for you. That's how they were running the upcoming inflation to the public. So we could believe, hey, it's not as bad. It's temporary. It's actually good for the economy. It's actually good for me and you. I believe it was 2020. I'm also going to post it right here. When I said that the U.S. government has printed more money in June of 2020 than they have printed in the last 200 years of their existence. Inflation is coming, guys. There's too much money printing. So let's come back now to 2023 where we have full-blown inflation and the media is telling us hey inflation is going down inflation is just six and a half percent to seven and a half percent i hear it on the media from america i hear it on the media from europe so the media wants us to honestly believe inflation is six and a half percent and sometimes seven and a half percent depending on which media outlet is reporting it but the main point is they want us to believe that inflation is getting better, it's going down, and that it's not really as bad as you think. But a lot of people, including myself, were confused. Let me put on my eyes so I can read some of my notes. So chicken is up 12.5%. Butter is up, this is in Europe, butter is up 26%. Milk is up 50%. Eggs are up between 170 to 200 percent rice pasta and other grains other cereals are up 50 percent so how is it possible that these all these things staples that we need every day that and they're telling us inflation is around six and a half percent look guys look at this you can see the size of this bag we just went to get some groceries just a small bag like this with only essentials we paid 71 euros for this this small bag of essentials like butter milk rice pasta some stuff to put on our bread bread just a small bag like this 71 euros this is affecting everybody and everybody knows that they're lying Everybody is feeling it. And because of this high inflation, it also affects our behavior and what we buy. So we hardly buy beef anymore. Guys, wait, let me show you. So this is a pack we bought today of four hamburgers. And it's three euros and 99 cents so four euros for four hamburgers that is crazy two or three years ago you could get this for one euro something it like i say it affects the behavior of what we buy and what we eat so now it's way easy now you would think i'm gonna leave the beef and i'm gonna buy chicken instead let me show you the price of chicken <laughs> these are four chicken leg chicken legs and this is the price seven euros and 61 cents for four chicken legs so 
what 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 can you choose <laughs> you would think you can choose chicken over beef but there is no choice if i'm telling you this is too expensive and i think we can afford it what the hell are people doing that can't afford it they are lying to us inflation is way higher than six percent it's higher than seven percent it's higher than eight percent it's even higher than ten percent lies 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 why does the media tort the line of the governments and try to make things look better than it is just tell us the truth so we can make informed decisions about our finances that's all we ask you know it makes me so angry that they continue to lie to us people that you put in charge to look out for you to have your back that they continue to lie to us but <laughs> guys look what is the point of this video you're saying what is the point of this video and how we know how it is we feel it in our purses we feel we see it every time we go to the grocery so what is the point you know what the point is? The point is to share this information. Scream it from the rooftops. Because the more we speak about it, the more we protest, the more we share it on social media and uh, show our disdain and our, and our anger and our disappointment in the media in general that they try to constantly feed us a bunch of BS, the more we share that out, the more they will have to eventually listen to us and speak the truth and address these problems. And once they address these problems because they cannot hide away from it, then the government also has to take note and say, hey, the people are not being fooled anymore. And they have to get up and do something, get up and work for their money and work for the people that gave them the job that they have right now but most of all what this vlog is telling you is there is no time for splurging money for splurging your money anymore actually actually there's never a good time for splurging money unless you're like taking a great vacation because we all need vacations it is extremely important that you look at every cent that you gave out and start to look at it with a critical eye you know, what are we paying every month from our bank account and from our credit cards? You should audit this as soon as possible. Four euros here, 10 euros there, eight euros there, 18 euros here. If it's not necessary, stop it. Cut off those payments. We pay for way more things than is necessary. It's always, it's usually things that we want or things that we think we want. And secondly, really important is we have to all become more sustainable like a lot of my followers a lot of my subscribers a lot of people i subscribe to we plant our own food we grow our own food we have backyard chickens that um we can get our own eggs from our own meats from guys it is time to look out for ourselves prep 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 i know a lot of you think preppers are but it is time to be a little cuckoo and look out for yourself. Be more sustainable for your family. We have to look out for ourselves, guys, because they are lying to us left, right and center about everything. And this is just this is just the beginning of the crap they lie to us about. So, yeah, guys, I continue to say keep being vigilant, keep coming up for yourself, keep speaking out, keep sharing these videos comment in the comment section let me know what's going on in your part of the world is inflation what they're telling us on the media or is inflation what you're feeling in your pocket we have to go on our feelings guys we cannot rely on these people i have stopped relying on these people a long time ago i trust my gut i trust what's going on in my pocket i trust what's going on in my family we cannot rely on these people anymore guys so yeah, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Cheers.